and the five lap final for our drivers is about to get underway in the BMW Mini category. Ready to race ball is on. Green light is on. Good start then from Turner on the front row of the grid. Not bad at all from Sayer Bellamy. Surely he's going to try and joker from the outside into the first series of corners they go. And he does indeed joker into the outside. Steve Brown and uh, Constantine were side by side going through the uh, joker lap there. But they all managed to make it through the joker lap cleanly as it turns out. So it is the number 61 then of Bradley Turner who leads the way, locking up his brakes, going in towards the left-hander of the Devil's Elbow, closely followed by the 77 of Ben Sayer. And then comes the number 68 who is really trying to find his way through. That is Darren Bleasdale who's looking every which way possible to find his way past. Meanwhile, in the background, you just saw Andy Hawks there going side by side for fourth position and trying to run his fellow competitor out of room. But down in towards the bottom of the paddock bend we go. And it is still the uh, number 61 of Bradley Turner that leads the way coming to the end of the first lap. Yeah, super impressive stuff from Brad Turner to lead that opening lap from pole position. He's streaked away from the field so far. We lost Dave Ellis in the semi-final stages, so he's a non-starter in the final. As third place man Darren Bleasdale disappeared into the joker lap that time around. So that leaves Turner and Sayer in top spot a lock up from Turner as he presses on into the devil's elbow changes further back with the Steve Brown BMW Mini flicking past Oliver Ford who's now slowing sadly Ford out of shops been struggling in this final but really quick in other rounds as Tom Constantine and Darren Bleasdale get close up to North Bend hairpin for what is fifth spot so down into wars, Paddock Bend, Darren, uh, Darren Turner go, not Darren Turner, I should say, well, Ben Turner, uh, Bradley Turner, I'll get it right eventually, in the number 61, Darren Turner's a GT driver, that's uh, a former touring car driver. Uh, Bradley Turner then still leads the way into the uh, first corner, of course he hasn't joked yet, he's got a nice clear track in front of him and not too much pressure from Ben Sayer behind there as well in second position, but out of Chess and Strift they go uh, once more and in towards the uh, left-hander of the Devil's Elbow. Let's see whether Dave Bellaby's joke on that first lap is going to pay dividends for him. You can see the run up to the hill of the number 61 then of uh, Turner, closely followed by uh, Ben Sayer then. And Sayer has really been a very standout performer here today, very quick out of the blocks for round one and uh, hugely impressive performances uh, over the course of his qualifying and semi-final hits. Yeah, and all of these drivers who are at the sharp end of the final will be pretty pleased with their efforts because it's the biggest ever grid for the BMW Mini category. All identical, all supercharged, 1.6 litre minis and an 18 car field. Whoever comes out on top of that really knows their way around this one mate category. And it's the fairly newcomer, Brad Turner, who only started in the sport last season, who locks up into the Devil's Elbow, chased by Ben Sayer in 77. Dave Bellaby is still in third spot, rather lonely third for now, because the top two still need to take their joke lap. And where will Dave Bellaby filter into this when the top two disappear into the longer route? Andy Hawks and Stephen Brown are squabbling over fifth and sixth places at the top of the hill. We are on lap four now. Complete another tour of Lidham and the race leader is into the joker lap then. So Brad Turner into the longer route, chased by Ben Sayer. And where will Dave Bellaby, if anywhere, be able to come out and try and take second place away? Maybe it's the very, lead It's even. very close, yeah, and he's going to do it. He's going to do it here is Dave Bellaby. Then as an inspired joker on that first lap. Good job there for him ahead of Bradley Turner. So now it is Bradley Turner's turn to attack. Can he do so, though? There's a bit of rubbing into the Devil's Elbow. Very late indeed on the brakes there for Bradley Turner, but Dave Bellamy, he's a wise old hand, he's had a lot of experience in the British Rallycross Championship, and he now manages to uh, lead the way down here. So very impressive stuff, we're on the final lap, we're coming down in towards Paddock Bend, and is Bradley Turner going to be able to do anything to upward Dave Bellamy? I don't think he is, through into the final series of quarters we go, and it is a victory in the final for Dave Bellamy in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Hugely impressive stuff there for Dave Bellaby. He had a quiet race. We hardly mentioned him throughout the entirety of it, but he kept it cool, he kept it calm. That joker on the first lap worked, and he wins.